walk over here. Come on. You'll do something. Shocking final moments of Hunter Mark Upton. Are you now prepared to learn the truth about what actually transpired to Mark Upton on that crucial hunting trip? Hold on to your seats, accept yourself, and embark on a wilderness trek where the difference between life and death can be razor thin. You will gain a newfound respect for nature's strength and a reminder to always be ready after watching this video. For Cora Chauvin, September 13th, 2018 was a day of adventure and excitement. As a Florida resident, he had always dreamed of hunting elk, and finally the opportunity had arisen. Teaming up with his seasoned guide, Mark Upton, Cora Chauvin set his sights on Bridger Teton National Forest in Wyoming as the perfect destination for his bow hunting journey. Though Florida boasts a diverse array of wildlife, wild, free-ranging elk can only be found in remote, rugged terrains like Bridger Teton. However, Little did Corey Chauvin know that his elk hunting trip would prove to be a test of survival in the unpredictable wilderness. Embark on an adventure into the heart of nature with Bridger Teton National Forest. Located in western Wyoming, spanning over 3.4 million acres, this magnificent forest is one of the largest in the United States, stretching from Yellowstone National Park to near the Idaho border. Surrounded by towering pine trees, aspen firs and lush willows and grasses, the landscape is a haven for a diverse array of wildlife. From majestic elk and moose to cunning coyotes, cougars, bison, wolves, and even grizzly bears, the wilderness of Bridger Teton is a true showcase of nature's power. While these animals can be intimidating to some, they are a thrilling experience for those seeking a genuine wilderness encounter. Bridger Teton National Forest is a true outdoor lover's paradise, attracting tourists and locals alike with its breathtaking beauty and abundant wildlife. The National Forest Home website boasts the forest's reputation for its four W's wildlife, winter opportunities, wilderness and wild, and scenic rivers. These unique qualities caught the eye of Florida resident Corey Shuban, who, in September of the same year, set out on a bow hunting expedition for elk. Understanding the challenges of navigating the wilderness, Corey sought the expertise of Mark Upton, a 37-year-old experienced guide who lived in Jackson, Wyoming, on September the 13th, 2018, Corey and Mark set off on their adventure into the heart of Bridger Teton National Forest. Corey, Shuban and Upton were riding horses scouring the area for elk. After a successful hunt, they finally came upon a bull elk, and it was Shuban's turn to take the shot. However, his aim was off and only managed to wound the animal, causing it to flee in pain and fear. Despite the setback, the two men continued their search but as night fell, they were forced to retreat and regroup the following day. On September 14th, 2018, they set out again and were aided by a large blood trail leading them to the elk. At around 1 p.m., they found the bull elk dead with no signs of predation. They got off their horses and started field dressing the elk so they could ride it back to their mounts. The minutes passed fast and Mark Upton decided to take off his shirt and chest holsters due to the warm temperature which would have serious repercussions. His 10 mm Glock, which he had given up as a precaution, was stored in the holster. However, this turned out to be a mistake as he soon found himself in need of all the safety measures he could get. The two men were in the middle of their work when they heard a loud banging sound like rocks colliding. Before they had a chance to react, two grizzly bears appeared from downhill and charged towards them. Before we move on to the unexpected attack, I would appreciate it if you would give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Let's move on to the unexpected attack. The grizzly bears were massive, with one of them being an adult female and the other three yearling offspring. Horry Chauvin and his guide, Mark Upton, screamed in terror as the larger of the two grizzlies, the adult female, pounced on Upton. Chauvin fought against his fear and realized he had to act quickly to save Upton from being mauled. He remembered that Upton had discarded his Glock and quickly retrieved the semi-automatic handgun, which was located about five to ten yards away. However, despite his efforts, Chauvin found himself unable to fire a shot at the raging bear. Several factors prevented Chauvin from shooting the grizzly bear. Firstly, the bear was attacking Upton in a chaotic manner. 
making it difficult for Chauvin to get a clear shot. Secondly, when he finally had the opportunity to shoot, Chauvin discovered that he was unable to operate the Glock as it was not functioning when he tried to manipulate the slide. In that moment, he noticed that the yearling was staying back and appeared disinterested in attacking. Chauvin desperately tried to make the gun function, but it was to no avail. Furthermore, he was not familiar with the workings of the Glock, adding to his frustration. Suddenly, the attacking bear turned its attention to Chauvin and charged towards him. In a split second, the bear grabbed Chauvin's right boot in its jaws. The bear only partially succeeded in knocking Chauvin off his feet. In an attempt to escape, Chauvin threw the handgun towards Upton, who was shouting at the bear, but the gun fell short of reaching him. The confused and possibly further agitated bear then turned its attention back to Upton. Seeing this as his only chance, Chauvin fled in an attempt to seek help. The last image he had of Upton was the man standing facing the bear, which would be the last time anyone saw Upton alive. Chauvin ran for his life, struggling on the rough terrain beneath him, finally stopping about 400 yards away when he reached the horses. In order to make his horse leave with him, Chauvin had to untie both animals. The minutes ticked by as Corey Chauvin frantically rode his horse towards the top of the ridge, hoping to get a signal for his 911 call. At 4.30 p.m., Teton County Sheriff's Dispatch received Chauvin's distress call. Rescuers quickly mobilized and took two hours by helicopter to reach Chauvin. With every passing moment, the likelihood of Mark Upton's survival grew slimmer. Despite their best effort, the search for Upton was called off as darkness set in, and the rescuers left the area, planning to resume their search the next day. Sadly, on September the 15th, 2018, Upton's lifeless body was discovered some 50 yards uphill from the attack site, showing the brutal signs of a grizzly bear attack. The evidence of the bear attack on Mark Upton was clear. There were bite marks found on both of his hands, wrists, arms and upper thighs, as well as his right shoulder. A can of bear spray was also discovered, empty, and with its safety mechanism removed, located five yards away from Upton's body. The bite marks showed that both the adult female and its cubs had attacked the victim. Additionally, the empty bear spray can indicate that Upton had tried to use the spray during the attack. The evidence left behind showed that Mark Upton was able to use his bear spray during the attack, which likely caused the bears to momentarily release their hold on him. However, Upton's injuries were too severe and he was unable to make it to safety. He struggled up the hill before finally giving way and dropping the bear spray canister. At the base of a tree, he passed away. Following the attack's investigation, the two bears implicated were chosen to be located and killed by the authorities. The decision to take action against the bears resulted from this. The absence of an elk carcass and the bear's initiative in the attack, as opposed to a desire to defend their young, shown that they were a danger to human safety. The attack seemed to have been driven by the bear's hunger and their attraction to the elk carcass, leading authorities to conclude that they needed to be hunted down. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department personnel employed non-violent trapping methods at the location of the attack resulting in the capture of the three-year-old bear, which was later put down humanely. The larger bear, however, was shot by law enforcement on site after aggressively charging at them. Mark Upton's passing left behind a wife and five children ranging from ages 10 to 17. The tragic tale of Mark Upton, who was killed by ferocious natural forces, comes to an end at this point. The happenings that day act as a reminder to respect the land's wild inhabitants and to always be prepared. We appreciate your interest in the narrative and for viewing this video. We hope it was both thought-provoking and educational.